What's going on YouTube family? It's Dylan from Redline here, bringing you yet another video. Today's a video I don't really wanna make, but I have to make it. I gotta be 100 on the channel, keep you guys updated, and let everyone know what's going on. If you're new here for some odd reason, this is an automotive channel. I try to post two to three times a week. We do everything from car reviews to DIY, mod reviews, drag racing, Mexico pools, the whole nine yards. Um, we're a very diverse channel. I mean, we got everything from this Duramax, Turbo Fox body, a 13S4, 47 Lincoln Continental, just literally everything. I'm a very diverse enthusiast. If any of that interests you, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and stick around. But without any further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Now, obviously, I'm not in the S4. I'm not in the Mustang. I have still not went to get Kermit. It kind of just seems like everything's like screwed up right now. So let me give you guys the rundown on what's been going on. All right, to start. So I was getting ready to do my car reviews about a week ago. I put, my last video was 10 days ago. And I was getting ready to do my car reviews. I was going to start out with my S4, then do my Mustang, then do the Duramax, Kermit, and then start all my buddies' cars, and then branch out into a lot of the cars in the local car scene. So I kept getting smacked with stupid weather, bad weather, Ohio, our climate is all over the place. I mean, it would be raining one day and then a tsunami and then not actually a tsunami, but our weather's just, it was going berserk. It was just absolutely insane. And there's no way that you can actually film anything good in weather like that. So I began putting the videos off. I was like, all right, as soon as the weather clears up, I'm gonna bust these videos out. Well, and this is when stuff started going wrong. So one day I was just driving the S4 right before I was actually gonna film the video. Nothing too severe, I was uh, backing up. My clock spring went bad, I was like, okay, whatever, it's nothing too crazy. Then my rotors started to go bad, they got warped a little bit, obviously, so the car needs brakes now. Water pump obviously started leaking, if you steam my Instagram, the S4 is basically out of commission right now, until I can get a new water pump installed and get all that underway. Yeah, so the S4 needs a water pump, brakes, a clock spring, I feel like I need something else I'm forgetting. Oh, the flex pipe ended up going bad right before the water pump went bad. And after I got the flex pipe fixed, I was gonna film the video still. And then the water pump went bad, so. Oh yeah, lots of fun. <laughs> Gotta love when sub breaks. And then after that, I was like, all right, well the S4 is down for a couple weeks or a week or whatever my time frame is on that. I'll just film a video with the Mustang and I'll bust out my Mustang review and make some of my other videos that I plan to make with the Mustang. Well, as you're about to find out, that obviously didn't go to plan. What we got behind? So the last couple of videos I posted were actually with the Fox body. I did my mod list and the cost to turbo the Mustang. And then I was like, all right, I was gonna switch it up, do my S4 review. I, was gonna, I had another video planned with the S4 and then I was gonna go back to the Mustang, do a review on that, go drag racing with it, get some cool content with that, and compare it to some other cars, see what the thing is doing power-wise and see how it compares to other vehicles. Well, um, last night I was driving it and my trans basically detonated. I have no third gear and it's, all, it's just all bad. It's all screwed up, bunch of bad noises. And the thing that sucks the most is when the trans left, I wasn't even beating on it. Now, if you know anything about Fox bodies, you know those T5s are kind of junk. Um, they're basically glass. So I was prepared for this situation. I have two or three backups over at my dad's house. That's where I'm getting ready to go to get the transmission, to take it to our shop so we can begin putting a new trans in. So a quick rundown, I was following my buddy Logan out to his wife's house to basically drop the car off for her because they're up here from Florida, yada, yada. We were getting on the highway. I literally was not beating on it. I was cruising. I was in third gear, probably going about 40 miles an hour. Um, and then all of a sudden it popped out at third and I was like, well, that's weird. I've never had a pop out. And then as soon as it popped out, just this horrible noise. I mean, it sounded like metal shavings in a blender. It was like third gear was completely gone. Um, I went to put it in the fourth gear. The noise was still there. I was like, oh God. So I limped it home and then I obviously grabbed the Duramax. So now everything at my dad's house, it's like a graveyard of my cars. Everything's basically broken except the Duramax. And I'm kind of just like, oh my gosh, like why? What's next? So hopefully the Duramax doesn't break because that would be 
very sucky. So yeah, that's kind of basically where I'm at at the moment. I've been kind of like just annoyed and irritated because everything, it just seems like everything's breaking at once, which obviously that's life. And when stuff goes wrong, it's obviously gonna be everything at once, but I'm ready to come back better than ever and bust these videos out, get the cars back in action and come back stronger. I mean, I'm more motivated than I've ever been and I'm just, I'm thrilled to get these things back and start busting out videos. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when everything starts breaking, it kind of gets you down in the dumps a little bit. I mean, when the S4 first broke, I really wasn't even motivated to make the Mustang video. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because I don't know if it honestly would have been like my best production. I probably would not have been satisfied with how the video came out. Just my attitude and everything about the whole situation and everything breaking, it was just kind of, it was all just screwed up. And I was kind of down in the dumps about it, but then I'm like, well, what the heck am I gonna do? Am I gonna cry about it? Am I gonna just pan about it? Or am I gonna fix the stuff and come back stronger? So, so obviously that's the plan. I've been going to auctions and everything, getting inventory for the business, trying to make a bunch of money so I can obviously fix my cars, get everything back. I do plan to make some more dealership content because I mean, that's about all I can make at the moment until everything else is back in action. The Mustang should be back this week. Like I said, I already have a backup trans and we can probably have the old trans out new trains in in about an hour or two so nothing too crazy with that but yeah that's my current situation and everything so hopefully the stuff is sooner than later hopefully the audi doesn't give me no more issues and i can just get everything sorted with it i've been kind of having mixed emotions with it um if you're in the s4 group at all you may have seen me listed for sale last month or the month before i'm just kind of like I don't know, my head's like all over the place. I'm like, one minute I wanna sell the thing, one minute I wanna keep it. I've been thinking about upgrading to a B9 S4. I just don't know what to do with that car. And I know I'm going off on a whole nother tangent right now. Now I'm probably gonna make that a whole nother video, but yeah. As I've said many times over and over, my only forever car is my Mustang. Maybe this Duramax, I really like the Duramax, but I don't know, the Audi I'm just not sold on. And then when it breaks, I think it just like, Either it gets to me and it just irritates me. I don't know. But I'm probably going to end up keeping it. I mean, it's basically how I want already. I don't know. If you guys have any opinions on that whole situation, drop them down below. Let me know what you would do or everything. It's My S4 is getting right at 100,000 miles. It just hit 100K. I've already had most of my preventative maintenance done. And that's another thing. My water pump was already done. So it's kind of weird that it went bad. But, I mean, what can you do? It's cars, so... If you guys have any ideas on what I should do with the S4 after I fix it, keep it, keep building it, sell it, upgrade, sell it, use that money to invest in my business, drive whatever I'm selling, and then get maybe a B9 or even an RS3 or something next year. I don't know. There's just so many ideas. There's so many cars I want to own in life, especially in terms of like my daily drivers. I just don't know. I don't know what to do with it. So I've just been kind of like all over the place, obviously. Now, if you stuck around this far into the video, I apologize if it's kind of like mopey or like depressing or anything. I hate making videos like this. I try to keep this channel positive and you know, all smiles, laughter, and give everyone a good time. But I mean, stuff happens in life. I know a lot of YouTubers try to hide this stuff, but the reality of it is that cars break and for most of the populace, it's nearly impossible to like, when you break your car, fix it next day overnight parts, just stuff like that. It's just not financially reasonable or, I mean, it's just almost impossible. You can't expect that, but a lot of bigger YouTubers try to hide stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that. I like to keep everything honest and 100% with you guys and let you guys know what's going on. So that just about sums up all this mopiness. I'm tired of making this video. I'm ready to get back into the exciting stuff, the motivating stuff, start making some more content for you guys and get back on the real uploads and the regular schedule two to three times a week and just get this ball rolling. I wanna thank you guys. I'm at 590 subscribers, absolutely thrilled. All you guys who comment, reach out on Instagram and other social medias, it means the world to me. I, I cannot begin to express how thankful I am for the audience, for the consistent audience that watches my videos. It's just insane. And I don't even wanna call you guys fans because you're like family more or less. And it just means a lot and thank you very much. So with all that being said, I'm gonna take the old Dirty Max to my dad's, 
get the transmission for the Mustang, take the Mustang over to our shop with the transmission, obviously, and hopefully get that thing back on the road here soon. Hopefully the lift's cleared and we can get the old Mustang back in action, start making some videos to hold me over until the S4 is back. With all that being said, if any of the cars I've talked about today interest you, be sure to subscribe. Um, like I said, I post two to three times a week here on the channel. I have a 1987 Turbo Mustang, it's a notchback. This 600 horsepower LB7 Duramax, a 13 Audi S4 that's basically full bolt on. I think it's down as a daily and all my car reviews are on the way. A bunch of crazy stuff. I mean, some of the cars, some of the people that are letting me do reviews, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm thrilled and I'm very thankful that people are actually trusting me to do it. So stick around for that. Coming very soon. I might actually just film a few of them this week just so I have them. On that note, guys, I'm Dylan from Redline. Thank you for sticking around. Um, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you very much. Be sure to check out some of my older content. Follow me on social media. And on that note, guys, I am out. Have a good one and stay positive. Let's get it. Also, real quick. Man, it sounds like my voice is kind of leaving or my allergies or something. <sighs> one thing after another. God dang it. Here's the graveyard. Oh, my gosh. <laughs>